They're four girls and three boys. In how many ways can they be arranged in seven seat row so that each boy has to sit between a girl? So what we're going to do here is we have a combination slash permutation question. But we have exceptions here. We have It's a requirement that the boys have to sit between the girls. And so instead of doing permutation or combinations using those formulas because it can get rather complicated, what we're going to do is we're going to use hypotheticals. So we have three boys, four girls, and if these represent the seats, we have to have girl boy, girl boy, girl boy, and finally a girl. Now if we think about the number of options we have for this seat. This seat, a girl has to sit there, and we have our choice of four girls. Since one girl is sitting there, for this third seat, where the second girl would be sitting, now we only have three girls to choose from. Again, one girl sits here, so the next girl that sits on the fifth slot, we only have two girls to choose and finally, the girl that's still standing, who hasn't chosen a seat yet, she must sit at the very end. Now we can do the same thing for the guys as well. We have three boys. We have three options for that first seat. Um, you know, all three guys can sit there. Here, since one guy is sitting there, now we only have two choices left. And again, there's going to be one boy remaining, and he has to sit there on the sixth slot. Now since these are all, uh, all of these have to be true, we have to have a girl sitting here and here, and a boy sitting here, and a girl sitting here, and a boy, and a girl, and a boy, and a girl again, uh, we use the word and. Now anytime you use the word and, we are going to multiply. Um, on the contrary, if we say a guy, a boy can sit here, or a girl can sit here, we will um, do addition. But anyway, for this one, let's focus on the end. We multiply. This will be 12. Here we get 36, 72, 144 times 1 times 1. So we get a total of 144 different ways to arrange these seven people um, such that it has to be girl boy, girl boy, girl boy. So anytime you have these permutation slash combination questions, um, it's useful to know those equations. However, when there are exceptions or when they impose a lot of these restrictions, it's often easier just to write out, just as we did here, um, hypothet hypothetical scenarios. So in this case, since they have to alternate between boy and girl, we know that girls have to be on either end, um, and sandwich between each girl has to be a boy. So that's why we're labeling this G, B, G, B, G, B, G. And then we think in terms of how many options or how many girls can we choose from to sit in that first spot. And then if one sits there, then we'll have one fewer choices next for the next girl spot, and et cetera. And then we do the same for the boys.